This week on another pop review, we're going to take a look at the pop 320 Deadpool in Jeff Goldblum pose. Stay tuned, my friends. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Today we're taking a look at the Pop Marvel number 320, Deadpool Bobblehead. This is the gold blooming Deadpool. All right, first things first, let's go ahead and take a look at the clamshell. This is a different style of clamshell than what we're used to. Uh, it's two pieces, and the base fits in right there. When my wife got this, I actually did not realize there was a display base. So anyway, there's the clamshell. As I stated, this is a Marvel bobblehead. And the display base, it has two pegs. Because as you can see, he does need the display base, otherwise he's going to topple over. But it's got two pegs, a larger one and a smaller one. The larger one fits right into the bottom of Deadpool's foot. Right there. Show you guys that again since I kind of went off screen. And this small one, right there, fits into his elbow. Uh, there. Just like that. As you can see, Deadpool is wearing his trademark teleporter. This, this device right here on his chest. It allows him to teleport, uh, similar to the way he did in X-Men Origins Wolverine. Uh, only in that movie he did so as part of his, uh, as part of a combined mutant power that he uh, was given. In the comics he actually needs to use this device here to teleport. Uh, this, as I said, this is gold blooming Deadpool. He's, uh, he's laying just like Jeff Goldblum did in the Jurassic Park movie after he was injured uh, back when they were back at the lab uh, after he was injured and he was recuperating. Uh, very nice design. Uh, very nice paint job. Uh, attention to detail is pretty good. 
As you can see, there's the underside of the display base and inside the bobble. Uh, my wife picked this Deadpool up, uh, I believe at GameStop. I want to say it was GameStop. Uh, I could be wrong though. Uh, she has become a Deadpool fan. Uh, after, after we saw the first movie together, she pretty much became a Deadpool fan. And she saw him. She thought he looked cute. So... She picked him up and added him to her pop collection. So there you have it, my friends. This was the Pop Marvel number 320 Deadpool in gold blooming pose. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you again next Tuesday for another pop review. Take care, my friends. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, you can check out one of these two playlists right here on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched.